Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at the Griffin Power Dock 5. This is a little docking station that allows you to charge all of your tablets and mobile devices in one station, rather than the normal conventional method of using lots of different plugs and cables. So this features five 10 watt outputs to charge all your mobile devices. Now this is optimized for iOS devices, but the testing they've done shows that you can use it on Android and Kindle devices as well. Now on their website, they say a lot of different smartphones and tablets have got unique charging requirements, so it may not charge your device as quick as you're used to. Most devices are chargeable by USB, so it's unlikely it's not gonna work. So they've got a full list of all the compatible devices on the website. There's, you know, all the, all the iPhone range, some of the Kindle devices, then you've got your Android devices as well. But obviously, like I just said, it may take a little bit longer to charge. Now, there isn't any cables included with this dock, so you will need to purchase them separately. There's kind of two ways of looking about that. Maybe they could have included some cables, but maybe they know a lot of people use a lot of different devices like me, for example. Um, for this one, I'm using an iPad, iPhone 6, and um, my Honor 8. So you've got a USB-C device, you've got a 30-pin and a Lightning device. I think they've just looked at it in a way that it's better to have, you know, the cables you need rather than having lots left over you'll never use. Now this has got a guaranteed for life warranty as well. They do offer great warranties with the Griffin products. Obviously with the five USB ports, you've got five spaces to recharge your devices. And these are broken up by some frosted plastic dividers. So in the box, there's a few different bits and bobs. First of all, we've got the power adapter. This is one of the usual power inverters you usually see with like USB hubs. And uh, this one has a two prong cable on the end of it to a figure eight, which goes into the adapter itself. Then the two plug goes into an adapter for your specific region. So for example, I'm gonna be using the UK plug, obviously. Personally, I would have liked to see one of the adapters that you could slide on the specific end. I think personally, those ends are better built than the adapters we're seeing here. Nevertheless, it does work as intended. Now the dock itself does come with quotation marks, some assembly required. Now the dock itself comes with air quotes, some assembly required. That's what I'm calling it. So first of all, the power cable goes under the actual dock itself, and then you can wrap the cable about if you've got a lot spare. So the little frosted blades that go down just literally snap into place on the dock itself in two points. They've got cutouts in them as well to make sure you put them in the right place. There's one that's got two notches cut out, which is the one that goes at the very end and that's got a kind of etched Griffin logo on it. Obviously they want you to put that one at the end, so then that logo is on show. So if you class the DC power cable as the back of the device, on the right hand side we've got all our USB ports. As I mentioned, these are all 10 watts of output. Then it's just a very obvious case of just plugging your device in with the cable. There's the end backrest, as I mentioned, that has the Griffin logo on it. So in a bit more detail with the USB ports and your cable management, they have got some small grooves that you can run a cable across. So for example, you come out of the USB port, then literally fold the cable back on itself 180 degrees, then you can run a cable down through the little channel. I found that some cables won't fit just purely because they're too thick. These are the uh, Griffin reversible USB charge and sync cables. They're quite long, so you do need to kind of cable manage them a little bit, and uh, you really have to kind of squash them down to get them to fit. Other ones, such as the generic cables, can go straight in. If you're using a USB-C device, the cables are really thick for this, so it will literally be a case of running the cable alongside the stand, but not actually putting it into the channel. So then obviously if you've got a shorter cable, you can just sit your device straight onto the dock itself, or you can put the cable through that channel, or maybe just run it along, and then back on itself on the other side. This is the setup I was using for my devices. We've got my Honor 8 there, which is obviously USB-C, so that cable just literally led across the back of the backrest, my iPhone 6 and then the uh, iPad that just uses a generic cable that one I could run along the channel they do fit fine um, along the channel anyway you know it's not a real big problem if the cable does sit along it rather than fitting into that groove and as I used mine right by the side of my desk I did have a small gap down the side of my desk I could put any excess cables down anyway if you're going to get this dock I'd recommend getting some six inch maybe even four inch cables so that it literally comes out of the USB port directly into the device Obviously, if you've got three devices like me that all use a different connection, then you may struggle to find those kind of length cables for each of them. I'm sure we'll see smaller USB-C cables as time goes on. Overall, the dock's not too bad. It does the job and what you'd expect it to do. 
I would like to see a bit more cable management included under the actual dock itself there's all the resistors and things for the power management of the actual dock there's no room to actually put any cables underneath if they do a version 2 I would like to see just a slightly higher platform that we could reach some cables underneath that will make it a lot better especially if you're using really long cables you want to put those somewhere if you've not got an area like the side of the desk to put it down like me then you will need to think about that a little bit more as you don't actually have any room in the dock to store them there is a pro version available of the power dock and I may ask to see if we can get that one to review as I feel that may be a little bit better than the power dock 5 overall it's a good design product it just needs a little bit of finesse so thank you for watching this video guys if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing thank you for griffin for sending this out for me to review i will put the links down in the description box below if you want to get one for yourself thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video